wonderful to be here. I'd like to start with a story. There was a man walking on the beach, and he saw a young boy throwing something into the water. And he said to him, what are you doing? And the boy said, I've got to get the starfish back in the water before they all die. And the man says, but there's thousands of them on the shore. You can't possibly make a difference in all of their lives. The boy smiles, throws one more back in, and says, yes, but I made a difference in that life. And that's what I'm here tonight for, is because I believe that together, as a community, we can make a difference in the lives of the new refugee families who have just come to St. Thomas, and many more that hopefully we will have. They are refugees that have fled the war-torn country of Syria. Some of them have come out of uh, camps just like this. This is Syria's, lar Syria's largest refugee camp. That camp, just one camp, is twice the size of St. Thomas. And so these refugees have come here and we are hoping to provide them a new home in St. Thomas. And you know, these refugees, they have fled their country, they have escaped, which is only the first part of that long journey here to St. Thomas. And I know that even when they come to St. Thomas, there's going to be all kinds of challenges they're going to have, but I'm excited, and I hope you are too, to know that we have saved the life of 11 refugees already. Four adults and seven children are now living in our place called St. Thomas. And because of that, we need to get busy. And we need to get a lot of things done. So we need volunteers from the community to help us. And we have tons of fundraising ideas that we need your help to help us with. Some of those ideas um, hopefully can come from you if you have some more of them, but I'm gonna share three of them with you tonight. The first one is Rockin' for Refugees. How many people here love 50s and 60s music? I know I do. And Frankie and the Fairlanes is coming to town. They are going to do a concert for us on Saturday, June the 18th. We're gonna have hopefully a car show and some other fun things going on, but it is a community event for the whole family to come and listen to the music, but we need your help. We need people to help sell tickets and to run this event. So if this is something that interests you, please speak to me about it, because I'm um, heading this particular fundraiser up. The second fundraiser we're having is called uh, Bowling for Dollars. This is potentially going to be our biggest fundraiser. We can raise over $6,000 with this, but again, we need your help. I am looking for particularly somebody to spearhead or a group of people to spearhead this up. We're hoping to have the high schools competing against each other. The high schools only need to come up with three teams of people from their school and their families and friends to raise money. This is a proven fundraiser that can be done, that can raise this much money, but we need your help to get this done. So please, again, if you're interested in this, let us know. The third fundraiser we're having is our Taste of Syria. This is another great community event that's going to encompass the whole community to come and literally taste Syria. We're going to have some Syrian food. We want people to taste the culture and the people of Syria. We need volunteers to help with that. You don't have to know anything about Syria. We'll have that all covered. But it's also an opportunity for the community to come and bring gift cards. They can be gift cards of any denomination, whether it be $5, $15, $50, or $500. Any amount would be helpful. Our goal is to raise $75,000. We want to bring three families to St. Thomas. Two have already come. The first one that Unite with Refugees brought in, we brought here on Thursday. They are a lovely family that I have had the pleasure of spending tons of time with. First United has brought a family, they arrived on Monday. And so we need your help together with volunteering, with financial donations to help these families. Um, the, the financial part of it is always a big part of it, so please, if you are able to help out financially, we do have some forms here tonight. We have a sheet with, the, with all the fundraising ideas on it. You can drop checks off at Settlement Services or the Unite for Refugees at the Y or the Community Foundation. 
And also, I just want to just give a great big shout out to Kathy Collier and Doug Terry Holmes and all of the people in this community that have already made this so successful. And I just want to leave you with one last thought. Never forget that together we can make a difference. Thank you. Any questions for Julie? All right, well, Karen? Do you have a date on that Taste of Syria event? Or? Not yet. So do you have a sense of when, what month? We're, we're trying to have all of these fundraisers organized in the next probably three or four months. We want to get them done quickly. Yes. Well, she's got some information. So please uh, see Julie afterwards, have a chit-chat with her, see if there's any way that you can